Um, I was just going to have a little chat to you about your beauty routine and how that's changed over the years and how, you know, that's changed in regards to your life and your lifestyle and your growing family, etc. So how would you say that your, your skincare routine has changed since before children, before family? Yeah, um, well... Doesn't everything change when you have family? <laughs> uh, I feel like along with all of the kind of just wonderful disruptions that happen when you start to have a growing family is that you are much more time poor than ever. Yes. And so I think just like anything, the faster, the better for me. And so I think pre-children, I had probably had more time to you know, have a longer shower and have all of my... Like shower. <laughs> yeah, and a, a shower alone as well um, and have all of my potions set up and make a whole kind of routine of it. Whereas now it's, what I, you know, as fast as you humanly possibly can. And then I just, m my way of doing it is to have everything in one bag in my drawer that I need on a daily basis. So I just, everything is in that little bag and I whip it out skincare is first and then makeup and hair and everything's right there at my fingertips and um i just the faster the better i think is the short of the answer yeah yeah and unless you're going somewhere and you have hair and makeup which i can imagine would just be luxury that's heaven actually but normally um you know i'm getting ready at the house and hair and makeup you know team will kind of come in and then you're still wrangling children like the other day i was sitting in the chair and I was trying to get Archie, I mean, the babysitter had already arrived, so she was kind of wrangling Hudson. I was trying to get Archie to, to come and read and do his homework. So it's just like still multitasking and still kind of yelling at everyone, <laughs> yelling my instructions across the room. We're just like, you picture it to be this whole like zen, amazing, you know, kickback of getting my hair and makeup done, but it's still complete chaos. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think at, I think at every uh, stage of a child's life, it's chaos. You just hit a new a new um, milestone of like, what the hell's going on? Yep, yep. And you get better at handling it. <laughs> or you just drink more. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. and, and in regards to ageing, obviously you're very, very young. Um, does ageing bother you at all? Or is there ever a stage that you've looked in the mirror and gone, oh, my God, ageing, what the, how's that happened? Yeah, aging is a weird one. Like you, you say I'm very young, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not that young. I'm 41. Too <laughs> easy. <laughs> yeah, it's my old age. Um, it's yeah, I'm 41, and I still can't actually believe that. Some days I wake up and I think I, I don't know what this age is supposed to feel like, but I don't feel like I, what I imagined a 40 year old person to feel. You think you know when you're younger, you look at older people and you think oh my gosh, I'm never going to be that old. They're so old. Yeah. Um, but that's now we're that, you know, like we, we are, our kids are looking at us just going, you know, my kids love to remind me of my age all of the time. They yell it out in shopping centres and all sorts of things. Um, but I, the, thing, the thing I like about getting older is how much more I know than what I used to. I think that is the beauty of age and the beauty of, of experience and the beauty of living days in the world is that you you just know more than you once did. And sometimes I imagine myself, my younger self with my 41 year old brain and I think, man, the things I could have done, the things I could get done, yeah. the things I would know, um, but you don't know until you know it. And so you have to the only way you know is through time and through living and through experience. And so I actually really enjoy that about ageing and um, I welcome that. I really do um, because being young is hard these days. Yeah, it's different. It's really hard. It's so different, yeah, to how we grew up. So I appreciate I appreciate the era that I, that I was a teenager and in my 20s and, um, you know, I look back and I definitely could have done things differently, but I'm proud of, of the decisions that I made. So I feel pretty good about ageing and I'm excited for the future. I just feel like it's just getting started. I feel like it's just ramping up. Yeah. And so I, I don't feel like it's slowing down. I don't feel like age is something that holds me back or puts a pause on anything. Um, I just, I'm just going for it. Just living my best life. So do you think now you wear less makeup than what you did when you were younger? Like, have you completely 
well, obviously time-wise, you don't have as long to, you know, stand in the bathroom. But do you think just a, a, a look-wise, do you look at past photos of yourself and you go, oh, my God, what was I thinking with all that, you know, makeup on? Did you have, have was there ever a point like that? I think I have the opposite effect. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I wear more makeup now. Um, I think because I know how to do it better than I did, like, in, when I was younger, I just, I, I sort of didn't really know what I was doing. And so I didn't really attempt too much makeup. Um, and I have quite small eyes. I have like fat eyelids, as I like to call them, or a hooded eyelid um, is the technical term, I think. But they're chubby. I've got chubby eyelids. I always have. And so that makes my eyes quite small. Um, and when I look back on photos of my younger self, I'm like, I literally have no eyes, none. <laughs> just have really smiley, small eyes. And I wish I knew how to do my eyeshadow and liner and pump up my lashes back yeah. then so that I'd had a bit more of a face. Um, so, yeah, I, I would say it's the opposite for me. Like this morning I got up and I put my full face on because I knew I had, a, you know, 100 things on today. So I, I, enjoy, I enjoy that process. And I was one child down here at a swimming carnival really early this morning. So I, was, I had one child to wrangle. So I did have extra time this morning to do that. Um, but in saying that, I am very kind of routine and structured in, in my makeup. So it's just the same thing every time pretty much. And then if it's an event, obviously I'll call in the team to, to give me the thing. Um, but for the most part, I don't mind a face. But, but then on the flip side, it's like if I'm going to cricket at 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning, there is zero effort. There's maybe a swipe of mascara and a bit of pawpaw cream, but, you wow. know, fresh face. Yeah, are there days that you go out and it's just like, you know, you just go all natural? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Maybe like a tiny bit of, you know, BB cream or, or something to sort of give that, you know. Yeah illusion that I've put myself together but always mascara and always a curl of the lash for, for my puffy little eye eyelids here <laughs> See, no one would have noticed other than now that now that you've pointed it out <laughs> now you've pointed it out <laughs> your powers are down now I know I'm telling you all my secrets um and in regards to skincare routine obviously you've been using the Olay which which serum have you been using I like the vitamin C, something about vitamin C in general. I make, it makes me, I don't know if it's like since a child, you know, your mum's like, have you vitamin C? That's, that's the, that's the vitamin of your life. Um, so I feel like I feel aligned with, with that, <laughs> with that serum because of its superpowers, I suppose. Yep. And I love a serum. I love a serum. It, it took me a little while to kind of catch on to what they did and why you would, use it but um yeah I find it I find it to be I, I find my skin is neither dry nor oily and so I've got pretty balanced down the middle skin but what I'm finding is that when I put a serum on it lasts the entire day like until I go to bed and wash my face I can still feel that kind of come yeah up. I noticed that with this as well it's kind of silky even when you're washing your, your face off I, even though you've got makeup on as well it's yeah it's quite amazing yeah it's very nourishing very moisturizing and um the thing that um i think this one does and i, I think i must have read it on the packet but it says it's for dull skin and i was like give it to me <laughs> <laughs> never, have, my vocab. <laughs> never have enough sleep never never you know like never bright and, and dewy enough so all the help i can get for brighter skin give it to me isn't that, isn't that amazing? Because you think celebrity, once you're a celebrity, you don't have these, you know, normal problems, but it's, it's like, you know, it's quite the opposite. Cause I can imagine that you have so much pressure on you to look good and so much pressure when, you know, when you're doing events that you are using a lot of makeup. So almost you're, you're putting your skin through more than, you know, just, a, you know, a non-celeb one might say. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I see. I just I still can't think of myself as a celebrity. That seems so foreign to me. I, I really don't. I, I think because I am, I'm so in the trenches of normal life. I, I'm so uh, such a hands-on parent and mother, and do, doing all of the pickups, drop-offs, running around school, after school, this, that, homework. You know, all, all the rest of it. I'm just like every other mum out there 
doing all of that. But yes, um, I do sometimes feel, you know, if I'm in the line at Kmart and someone will come up to me and they'll be like, oh, I made your roast, you know, that you posted on Instagram or, um, you know, a lot of times people will be buying something from LA and that like from the supermarket or whatever. And they're like, I, I you know, you said to buy it. <laughs> I'm buying it. And then in those moments, I'm like, oh gosh, what do I look like? What am I wearing? What, what's my, like in, in those moments where you you, you remember that, oh, people, people might know who I am or they might recognize me or I am a public person, especially if I'm walking about with Guy. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, th those are the times that I'm reminded, oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that is happening. But I am trolley full wrangling children down aisles in those moments as well. So I feel like this juxtaposition of a world where I'm just doing my normal everyday thing just like every other, you know, parent out there. But then... But, but I think that's the beauty of it. I think, I think that's why, I, I don't know, why people follow along with me and want to jump on board because they see themselves in me and yeah. I, I'm not trying to be something that I'm not and I don't filter everything to be wrinkle-free and perfect and I'm not, you know, injecting anything to, into my face. I am legitimately living my life as naturally as I possibly can and... I'm just like I'm just like a normal gal. Yeah. Your your community seems very very lovely. I mean, just uh, obviously you know just reading comments, but they seem very supportive and very lovely. And that's that's all credit to you. I think from what you've just said that you are so open and you are you know engaging and you are kind of showing you know that you do get stressed and you are you know there from start to finish of the your, your day mothering. So I think that that's quite amazing. Um, in regards to your cooking, like you're cooking quite a lot um, at the moment. Do you also think, uh, do you also um, think to yourself about nourishing your skin from within as well? Is that something that you take on board, you know, in the, in the whole beauty process or is it just poorly? <laughs> no, no, I think it's all one big functioning system. I truly do. I think one without the other kind of falls over. I don't think you should rely heavily on any one thing to make it all, you know, great. Um, and absolutely what goes into your body comes out of your skin. It's just a fact of life, I think. Not always. I mean, there's always other, you know, situations that people have health-wise but um mm. it definitely contributes I think so yeah for me it's it's lots of water I'm a big water drinker um and I've said this before but something that really was a game changer that I learned about drinking water because I was like right get yeah you know get your eight glasses in or whatever it is three liters two liters whatever it is a day um and someone said to me are you like sculling? Because I was like, I need the toilet all the time. I'm just drinking the water. I go on the toilet, drink the water. Go on the toilet. Um, and they said, are you sculling the water? I was like, well, yeah, I've got to get it in me. Like I've got no time to like <laughs> just get it in. And then you tick that off the list of things to do, drink my water. But um, she educated me in the fact that if you scull it, it literally goes straight through you and it's not doing its job. But if you sip it slowly throughout the day, so just carry a bottle and with one of those giant straws and just kind of sip it. She said, then the water is actually doing its job by going into your cells and into your body and your bloodstream and nourishing and hydrating your body. And then you pee less, hallelujah, and you're actually, the, the water is doing what it's supposed to do. That was a game changer for me. And it's far less stressful than eating the toilet all the time. Um, so, yeah, I think, and then obviously foods, you know, we try and keep it as, as healthy as humanly possible. Of course, you know, it, it, it's not reality. There's lots of things that life, you know, there's lots of cheese platters and birthday parties and celebrations and things that come along. Um, so as much as humanly possible, you know, eat our fruit, veggies, proteins, all the rest of it. But then, of course, there's... There's absolutely times where we will have a piece of cake or eat the cheese. <laughs> Good for the soul. So um, I read a quote from you and I can't find it just to clarify it, but you said, because you've got so much, you've, so much that you do, when someone asks you to, to um, 
to say to clarify what your role would be you said something like you're a swiss army knife did you ever say that i did actually and it's just always resonated with me because i think everyone's career in this space we are almost all like swiss army knives it's like okay what do you need i'll do it what do you need i'll do it so uh, what what made you come to that conclusion what made you say that what, kind of you were I think I think maybe somebody said that to me. That I think they in a very fleeting passing way they, they were like, "Oh, you're like a Swiss Army knife." Thinking out of you know, and I was like, "That's yes, that is actually." There's two things that have happened to me like that that have been said: Swiss Army knife, and um, somebody said, "You're the engine room of this family," and I was like, "Yes, yes, yes," and I, I feel like you know, <laughs> there's a there's. <laughs> a person in the family that's just keeping everyone's you know little boats going along um but yes we was I'm, I'm in life I think that's it it's very um I get kind of panicked when people say what do you do if they don't know what I do and I'm just like how do I explain this this is I mean I, I don't know if I can even articulate it and I and I used to think that was a bit of a failure actually I, I I used to think well if I can't sum this up in you know my Instagram bio and people don't really understand what it is then it felt like a sense of of failure and and not being good at any one thing especially when I'm married to somebody who is very good at you know their thing and not to compare because you know I'll never be that but I, I guess I've just been looking around at other people thinking, well, if I don't have one thing that I do, then I'm not good at anything. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's the truth at all because in order to do what we do, you have to be good at a lot of things. Absolutely. And it just, it's the nature of the, the business and it's the nature of the beast. And I actually love that. I love learning new things and I love seeing what's coming up trend wise and going with, you know, what the internet is doing and, talking to my community and just wrote a book like what I, I never in a billion how, years how did you do that I don't know <laughs> I, I'm just going to the bathroom <laughs> it, it was I mean and that was over co like COVID that I did that. I mean I, I don't I it sideswipes me it sideswipes me and so things like that where you're just like you know what I'm just going to give it a go. I'm just going to put my hand up and see where this lands. And if it fails, it fails. If it goes, it goes. I always think about it as like, you just throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Yeah. And then what sticks, go for that. Amazing. So where? So what's your next project? <laughs> now that you've finished your book. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't breathe. Um no, so the so the book's coming out at the end of the month, which is so exciting. So it, it'll just kind of be um, talking about that and and just whatever whatever comes with releasing a book. I've never done this before, so mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Hopefully that will that will go really well. Um, I've come down off of my absolute panic anxiety attack of you know sort of announcing that that's happening and please pre order my book. Um, so I feel I went like I, like all of the emotions and now I've just kind of come back down to a, a normal level. Um, so that's been interesting. Um, well, I'm just more of the same stuff, really. Tea with Jaws, I've got lots, lots of episodes coming out um, that I filmed last year. So that's coming out, uh, you know, as the year goes on. Um, more cooking on the Instagram uh, Olay just smattering my face in all of the things um, and I love working with with brands like Olay it's it's um it's such a household name you know yeah. like my mum used to use Olay we're using it now it's so accessible it's so affordable it's for every skin type you know no matter what you need you can you can get something from the brand and I, I love aligning with things that I truly believe in and truly use, of, of course, in my own life, because I feel like I can share so much more authentically and talk to my community, as you said, the kindest community. I'm just yeah. so lucky and blessed to have 
such support from from people and and it's so it's so amazing when you know when I'm talking about okay he's with the vitamin c serum and they're like right we're on it we're gonna use it and it's it's just it's beautiful it's amazing to see so just more of all of the things yeah. more of the swiss army knifing <laughs> a few more attachments <laughs> yes yeah, well, amazing thank you so much Jules so lovely chatting to you You're just gorgeous